Here's an overview of the integration of social text with SharePoint. What we're looking at right now is a SharePoint 2010 site, but the same things uh, apply to a SharePoint 2007 environment as well. On my site, I can add several tabs along uh, the top of the screen here. The first tab I'm looking at provides me access to a social text workspace within the SharePoint environment. You can scroll down and see access to all of the information and pages contained inside the workspace just as I would if I wasn't using SharePoint. So here I am just in social text. And if we go back to SharePoint, you can see that SharePoint users get the exact same experience and access to the same information. I can go over and do a people search, which gives me access to all of the employees listed in my social text directory. And we provide you full access to social text's microblogging environment called Signals. So I can broadcast short messages to uh, my colleagues. You can see I have threaded conversations where we can discuss information. And I can post not just to everybody, but I can choose to even post to specific groups of people. So if I want to go up and send a message just to the marketing team, I can easily do that here. Now, in addition to having access to workspaces, people, and microblogging, I'm going to show you if we go into libraries inside SharePoint. So here I am, I have access to my document libraries. Let's go into one of the sales presentations. You can see I have it brought out in the navigator here, or I can jump into it here. And what we're looking at is a SharePoint library. Currently there's no files in here, but I can go into uh, things like documents. You see the full toolbar for adding things. I'm going to add a document. So this is Sales Presentations, Upload Document. I'll choose Browse. I'm going to choose a PowerPoint presentation that I want my team to have access to. And let's say we use SharePoint file libraries to store this information. I say OK. It's just a couple meg file here, so give it a second to upload. And we will see that it's going to be added to the SharePoint library. I can see access to this. I can go in and I can view its properties, check in, check out, and do all the things that I want to do to that file. Now what's important to point out is if we go back, let's go back up to these tabs, I'm going to switch over to signals here, and what we're going to see is that a new signal will be added to the stream which is showing the event that just happened. So Joseph added sales presentation to the sales library. So what you're seeing here is integration with SharePoint events, such as uploading files, deleting files, new versions of files, etc., being added to the social text stream. So let me go back and look at this just in social text. So here I am, I'm a user in social text, and I am not using SharePoint. If I go over to my dashboard, in my activity stream, the first thing we'll see is that a new file has been uploaded. So you can see here all the conversations that are going on and added sales presentation to the presentation library. So uh, people in both environments can easily see the events and share events that are going back and forth. I can click right on this file and you'll see that I can have uh, the ability to open that file so I'd be able to open it up in PowerPoint or right from here inside social text I can click and be taken directly to that file library over in SharePoint so I could access all of that information. So great integration between social text and SharePoint. We have access to workspaces and all their content, access to the directory, access to microblogging environment, and events that take place inside the SharePoint environment are displayed in the social text activity stream.